Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tom Bauer and this is Brew York, the show that's gonna show you exactly where to get the perfect craft beer in the perfect location, only on bizcaster.tv. So I'm in the Gramercy section of Manhattan today, where I'm gonna hit up a place that's known to be a butcher shop and a bar at the same time. So you can come on down, get some pig and some beer. This is the Cannibal. So I'm here with Christian, the owner of the Cannibal down here at 113 East 29th Street in the Gramercy part of Manhattan. Christian, uh, how did this place get started, man? This is a unique looking place, but why the name The Cannibal? Yeah, I've been cycling most of my life, um, okay. and a lot of the other guys that, that work here ride, and so one day I said, you know, we could always call it The Cannibal, and everybody said, well, why would you call your butcher shop The Cannibal? And I said, I said, well, because the guy that's over my left shoulder here is Eddie Merckx. Uh, he's a okay. very famous Belgian cyclist, probably the most celebrated cyclist in the world in history, and his nickname was The Cannibal. This place is also extremely bike friendly, correct? That's the idea, yeah. The idea is we always want guys to be able to ride in, you know, in their kits and, and park their bikes out back and, you yeah. know, on the wall and, and be able to, you know, sort of have some libation and get something good to eat, refuel after long rides. You have four beers you have set up for me. Yeah. They're your personal favorites, I was told. You know, it's not necessarily favorites, because picking favorite <laughs> beers is like picking favorite children, you know, you sort of, you're not really supposed to do it. Well, I gotta tell you, the four that you picked out, I've never, I've never seen before okay. uh, in my shops and uh, in my bars that I've gone to. So uh, I'm excited to try them. So uh, this beer, the uh, the Monk suffers serious sugar rush of Barbados. It pairs well with something you have here at the Cannibal, correct? Yeah. So I, you know, this is definitely one of those things like a deep, rich uh, sausage. I think is really good with with, with this beer. Um, this okay. is the this is the the bratwurst you know, made in house. Right. Um, you know, really great fattiness, great richness. You know, old world mustard that we make. And this is a potato salad with uh, bacon okay. and and, uh, and parsley. Wow! All right. Well, let's give it a shot. Mustard on there. Mm. So you get a lot of that warm spice mm. in both of these. Yeah. This has a lot of warm spice in it. This has a lot of warm spice in it. So it sort of balances that. It's it's honestly <clears> like. This was cooked in that. It's very close in flavor. Yep. You're right. The spice is very close. The mustard really brings out that little bit of spiciness that yep. you really need from. That's really good. From there, we'll go to another brown. Okay. Um, this is the Leafman's Golden Bond. I think of this thing as something that goes well with really fatty, really gelatinous, and the pig's the pig's head terrine is definitely one of those things that I think about. When okay. I, when and I what do. exactly is a pig's head terrine? So it's you know we take a whole pig's head, slow roast it pull all the meat off, you know, take any of the excess liquid that's in there, press it into a dream mold, but it's really good. The textures are, are interesting. Yeah. Um, this beer, I think, naturally sort of cut through some of that fattiness, gelatinous thing, okay. which, I, which, I, which I think you want that a bit. You want to calm it down a little yeah. bit it goes down. So let's give it a shot. Mm. And actually the spice mixture in this is probably pretty dead on to this. That is, I gotta tell you, that's really good. I mean, that has a, a beautiful, this has a beautiful texture to it. Right. This is why you come to the camel right here. You pair this with this, unbelievable, so good. Oh my God, that's great. Mm. So what do we have here? So this is the, uh, this is the, the hellish, uh, as I always will pronounce the German words wrong, the Schlenken <laughs> longer. Um, and uh, we're, we're uh, pairing with the, the tartar. Yeah, it's the, we call it the Dario tartar. So. Okay, so let's give it a shot. Yeah, go, you ahead. go ahead. You got, uh, you. So yeah, you got the Some breakfast champions right there. Mm. Super simple. Comes from our top round. We, we trim everything in house. Everything comes from a, you know, from a from a center muscle. It's a good pairing because this is light. It has a little bit of a, a citrusy flavor to it, and the lemon in this that you—I I don't know. If you mm, yeah, absolutely. Cook it in yep. there. Um, it really, this really brings out the lemon even more than when you put it in your mouth. I and mean, when you put that in your mouth, it's, it's a lemon zest right up front, and then right. you hit with everything else. It's really good. That's really yeah, good. Fun. All right. So, uh, what's the what's the last beer you got for the me? The last beer. 
Um, this is the Hassan uh, Uzbek Lambic. Okay. So, uh, very classic style Lambic um, brewed with uh, wild strawberries. Wow, okay. So, uh, we have a pretzel here, and I'm a big time pretzel guy. So, you guys make the pretzels here, correct? Yeah, we make the pretzels. Okay. So, it's an ongoing thing. It's got some brown sugar in it, they're made daily. Yeah. I'm from Pennsylvania, which means Philly pretzels, like, there's only one thing that you put on a pretzel, and that's, and that's classic French's yellow mustard. I've honestly never put mustard on my pretzel. Okay. Here we yeah. go, first time with some uh, yellow mustard here. <laughs> my napkin's on the ground. I've had it wrong all my life. Yellow mustard. You know what it is? What's that? It's the acid in the mustard that's really good on the pretzel. You know what? I bet you if you pair it with it, it's going to be good because the acidity in that is going to get drowned out by the sour in it. It knocks out that vinegar taste. Good. Good pairing. Yeah. So again, it's Christian here down at the Cannibal, 113 East 29th Street in the Grammar Street section of Manhattan. Give it a shot. Come on down. Buy some meat for a party they got coming up if you're just really into big things and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. They have over 450 types of beer. They got eight on tap. They have amazing styles from Belgium. All over the world, right? Yeah, all over the world. And you compare it with some of the great food they have here. They make their own beef jerky, you make their own pretzels, they make everything here. So come on down. It's 113 East 29th Street in the Gramercy section of Manhattan. Christian, thank you so much. Hey, I appreciate it. Thanks for coming by. Thanks, man.